so far we have described the classification of states into recurrent and transient states. We have said that the states, uh, the, this, when the states belong to these classes, uh, these classes can also be classified as entirely recurrent or entirely transient. Okay? That is the summary of what we have said so far. Next we will proceed to discuss periodicity of states. This is another classification. Okay. States can be classified according to their periods. Now, I have to tell you what a period of a state is. Okay. Let us say I am given a DTMC uh, with transition probabilities Pij. Uh, recall that that n step transition probability is defined as probability that x n equals j given x naught equals i. We denote this using p i j superscript n, all right. Okay. Now, periodicity means that in some, some Markov chains, you will be able to go from a state i back to the state i in only integer multiples of let us say uh, some period. All right. So, that is what this periodicity means. Let me define it. The period of a state i denoted d of i is the GCD greatest common divisor of all n such that P i i n is greater than 0. Okay. So, you are looking at going from state i back to state i in some n steps all right and you look at all those n's for which p i i n the n step transition probability is positive you take the gcd of all those n's okay and that is called the period of state i okay if d of i is equal to 1 then state i is said to be aperiodic. If d of i is greater than 1, then state i is said to be periodic with whatever period d of i. So, for example, let me just draw this Markov chain, just uh, let us say 4 states. I have just drawn 4 states okay? and I have just put, uh, put arrows for those transitions which are possible with positive probability. All right? So, I can go from 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 and go from 3, I can go from 1 or 4 and so on. Right. So, as you can see, I so if I start at 1, right, so I can come back to 1, so I can go from 1 to 2 and then back to 2 to 1, right, in 2 steps, or I can come back from I can go from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, and then back from 4 to 2 and 2 to 1, right. So, what you will see is that in this case, for example, P112 is greater than 0. P114 is greater than 0 and so on, P116 is greater than 0 and so on. Bottom line is that you can never go from 1 back to 1 in any odd number of steps, right. So, P115 or P113 is strictly, is not strictly positive, it is just 0, right. So, in this case, state 1 is P 
periodic with period 2 ok. So, this is the meaning of periodicity. If it so happens that the state has period 1 which means the GCD is 1 then such a, such a state is, is a is said to be an aperiodic state. If the period is anything greater than 1 if it is 2 or 3 or whatever then the state is said to be periodic with that period right. Now, we state an important theorem which states that all states in the same class have the same period ok. So, this just means that we can speak of an aperiodic class or say things like a period of a class is period of a class and so on right. So, we can speak of the period of a class because all the states in the class will have the same period you can never have different periods ok and if even one state in a class is aperiodic then the entire class will be aperiodic ok. So, we can speak of an aperiodic class ok that is what this theorem is saying ok. This is true for both this theorem is true for finite and countable state space ok. The proof is a nice uh, number theoretic sort of a proof. Let I belongs to class C have period D of I and J in the same class have period d of j all right we have to prove that d of i and d of j are equal ok so now uh, this i and j are in the same class therefore i and j communicate which means there exists n and m such that P i j n is strictly positive and P j i m is strictly positive all right which means that P i i m plus n must be strictly positive because I can go from i to m i to j in n steps and j to i in m steps right. So, you can go from i to i in m plus n steps. This implies that d of i must divide m plus n right. Remember that d of i is the GCD of all those k's for which p i k is positive right. Now, next let T be such that P j j T is strictly positive ok. Let T be any integer such that P j j T is positive ok. Now, so, what I can do? So, from i to j, I can go in n steps and j back to i, I can go in some m steps, 
right and I am considering a t such that I can go from j back to j in t steps, right. Now therefore, I can go from i to j, j to j and j to i in n plus n plus t steps. This implies p i i of m plus n plus t is greater than 0, right. This implies d of i divides m plus n plus t, all right. But we already know that d of i divides m plus n. This implies d of i divides t, okay. So, what have we proven? We have proven that d of i is a divisor of t, but d of j is the GCD of all t for which p j j t is positive, right. So, that is the definition of d of j, d of j is the great is the greatest common divisor of all t for which p j j t is positive, all right. We are saying that d of i is a divisor of any such t, right. This implies that d of i must divide d of j, because d of j is the greatest common divisor of any such t and d of i is a divisor of such a t, right. So, d of i must divide d of j, all right. Similarly, if you just reverse the roles of i and j, you can prove that d of j divides d of i, okay. This only implies that d of i equals d of j, all right. So, this is a very combinatorial, I mean number theory type of a proof. Uh, to show that all states in a class have the same period, okay. So, you can speak of the period of a class or you can speak of the entire class as being aperiodic or periodic. Next, I will stop uh, by stating one theorem without proof which is useful. This is only true for uh, finite state Markov chains. If a class C in a finite state DTMC is periodic with period D then states in the class can be partitioned, partitioned as follows. Into D subsets, let us say S naught s1 dot 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 fd minus 1 in such a way that all transitions from sl go to sl plus 1 for L less than D, D minus 1 and go to S naught for L equals D. So, what we are saying is that let us say we have, let us say this is some periodic uh, class, all right. So, what we are saying is that we can partition the states in the class 
there is exists a partition for the states in the class. Let us say that is S0, S1, this is S2, okay. So, I have taken D equals 3, right. Let us say the, the, the states in a class of period this S0 to S1, S1 to S2, S2 back to S0 you will have transitions going from S0 to S1, S1 to S2 and S2 to S0 and back, okay. And if the period is D, you will have D such uh, partitions of the states in the class, okay. So, this I will state it out too and I will uh, stop here.